you in Jesus. Father God, we thank you. We worship you this afternoon. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your faithfulness. There is none like you. We appreciate you because you are a faithful God. Thank you for another time to gather in your presence. Father, be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, be thou glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that as we go into your word right now, Daddy, please speak to us in the name of Jesus. Open our understanding. Let us receive from you in the name of Jesus. Lord, this is the final Sunday of the three Sundays of glory. And I pray for everyone listening to me today that, Lord, you, you minister to their situations in the name of Jesus. Everything anybody has trusted you for either at all. Daddy, I pray that you answer them today by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. At the end of this program, oh God, let everybody be full of avalanche of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' in mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Welcome to the final Sunday of the three Sundays of glory. I pray that God will truly minister to you today in Jesus' name. I pray that God will meet you at the very point of your need in the name of Jesus. Everyone hearing me this afternoon, anything at all that has caused you to bow down your head eat at all, by the light of the living God, let that thing disappear in the name of Jesus. Every situation that has caused you to cry and weep, either in the open or in the secret, I pray that the hand of the Lord will terminate that situation in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy into your life every circle of confusion by the light of God. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end in the name of Jesus. Every satanic sacrifice, I'm praying this for somebody particularly, and I need to be very, very sensitive and say a very loud amen. Every satanic sacrifice, worrying against your advancement, everything they've done to antagonize your advancement, by the blood of Jesus, let that thing be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody. If your amen can be loud, I decree and declare into your life, anything that has caused you to bow down your head, either too. Everything that is making people to wonder, but after all, you are born again. Why is your life like this? I pray that this afternoon, let that thing be terminated. Let that situation be terminated. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over everything constituting darkness in your life. Anything constituting darkness in your journey. By the light of the living God, let that thing disappear now. Let it disappear now. Let it disappear. Let it disappear. In the name of Jesus, anywhere darkness is hiding in your life, let the light of God illuminate it now. In the name of Jesus, let the light of God illuminate it now. In the name of Jesus, please, I want you to pray the following prayers very loud and clear. You are going to pray and tell God, say, any situation assigned to frustrate me, be terminated. In the name of Jesus, any situation assigned to frustrate my life, be terminated, be terminated. In the name of Jesus, any situation at all assigned to frustrate me, be terminated, be terminated. In the name of your command them to be terminated. Any situation assigned to frustrate me, be terminated now. Be terminated now. Be terminated now. In the name of Jesus, situations assigned to frustrate me, I command you to be terminated. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, any dark meeting, someone to embarrass me, scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil meeting that has been someone to embarrass my life, scatter, 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 scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, any dark meeting, someone to embarrass me, I command you to scatter. I command you to scatter. In the name of Jesus, every evil meeting, someone to embarrass my life, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, I command you to scatter. Command them to scatter. Command someone to scatter now. In the name of Jesus, every evil meeting that has been someone to embarrass you, I command you to scatter. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, agenda of darkness, assigned to kill me for my time, be nullified in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of darkness, assigned to kill me before my time, be nullified now, be nullified now. In the name of Jesus, agenda of darkness, assigned to kill me, be nullified, be nullified. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, who speaks a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has not spoken. Every agenda of darkness, I leverage upon this word and I decree and declare every agenda of darkness assigned to kill me before my time. Be nullified, be nullified, be nullified. In the name of Jesus, be nullified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray for you in the name above every other name. Anything that has been done to kill you before your time, let the Lord terminate that thing. 
Let it be cancelled now. Let that thing be cancelled now. In the name of Jesus. Any situation assigned to embarrass your existence, let the Lord cancel that situation. In the name of Jesus. Every satanic orchestration assigned to bring you down by the hand of the Lord, let it be nullified. Let it be nullified. Let it be nullified. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. You will not be embarrassed. You will not go down. In the name of Jesus, the Lord shall fight your battle. In the mighty name of Jesus, anywhere darkness is hiding in your life, let there be light over that area. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, anywhere in your life that darkness is hiding, anywhere that has become the eye out of darkness in your life, let the light of God illuminate it now. Let it be illuminated. Let it be illuminated. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, our Heavenly Father. As we proceed in this meeting, Daddy, come and have your way. Let your word come this afternoon with authority. Let it come with power and let it come with fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the living Jesus. Welcome once again. Welcome, welcome, welcome in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I'm trusting God to bless you this afternoon. The theme of our program is Let There Be Light. And we started two weeks ago, we looked at um, Illuminated Mind, we looked at Illuminated Path last week. And this final Sunday, we are looking at what I call the essence of God or the essence of light. Listen, this, this is going to bless you. I'm going to do a bit of teaching, then, I, then we're going to go into prayer. I, I, I perceive strongly in my spirit that I, I need to let people know this. Praise the Lord. I, I need to teach this so that we can be informed. Listen, information is what transforms a man. When a man is informed, you are a better version of yourself. Praise the Lord. So please do well to listen. Hallelujah. You see, when we talk about light, it's a very broad and powerful subject. Amen. It's important that when we define light, we define it a different context. Or rather, anything you even do at all in life, is, is important you define it from, you know, different levels of their reality. If I can't finish this message, I'm not going to rush it. Praise God. Once our time is fast, we're just going to pray and, and I'm going to stop. But you see, it's important we define um, situations or we define things at different contexts or at different levels of their realities. For example, when, you know, your definition of things or when you can define things only from a natural realm and everything that matters to you, everything, if everything for you has its essence in the natural realm, then, you know, if you define things ordinarily, then it will be correct for you. Praise God. And it's also possible, you know, that um, all you know is just the natural realm. And so, for such a person, everything you ever do will be limited to this realm. And of course, there are also people who um, interact with the pretty natural realm, which is the second heaven, the, 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 the soulish realm, the realm of the soul. For this kind of people, they have a deeper meaning to, to the essence of things because they observe and define things beyond the natural. People, people in this realm, they observe things and their definition of those things is beyond ordinary, is beyond the physical. Hallelujah. And so when such a man is looking at things, he has a deeper understanding than somebody who looks at it from a natural realm. But then when you tell a man that is only focused on the natural realm, about the pretty natural realm, he sees you as an idiot because it makes no sense to him. It doesn't, in fact, he argues so seriously with you that what you're saying does not make sense. They argue to their detriment. Praise the Lord. But then there are those who view things from the highest of all realms, a realm called the supernatural. That is the realm of God. Praise God. Hear me, beloved. You can, you cannot boldly say you have a grip of something, except your definition of that thing is from the supernatural realm, the realm of God. Before you can fully say you have a bold grip over anything, it must be such that you fully see that thing from the realm of God. You cannot see something from the realm of God if you don't have a full grip of that thing. In fact, something has not become your reality. When that thing is not seen or grabbed from that realm, which is a supernatural realm, unfortunately, you may not know that you haven't got a grip of a particular thing until there's a challenge which, <laughs> which supersedes the depth of your understanding. Praise the Lord. If somebody gets something, something this afternoon, so if a challenge happens, and you then discover that, oh my God, I have no understanding of this. I have no grip. For example, you think, well, I have a job in the UK. I'm doing extremely well. And suddenly they begin to leave people off. If the definition of your job is limited within the scope of the natural, that is, I'm a university graduate. I have a degree. Therefore, I always have a job. 
if that is the scope of the definition of having a job or career for you, then when, the, when there's a challenge that supersedes the natural realm, that exceeds the depth of your understanding, then you are in serious trouble. Praise the Lord. So that's why I said, before you can fully say you have a, you have a grip on something, it must be defined for you from the supernatural realm. When the depth of your knowledge cannot handle that matter, then you fully find that you are very, very handicapped. This is when you discover that you have a limitation. Then you appreciate that knowledge is in different stratas. Listen, knowledge comes in different dimensions. There are stratas to the level of knowledge. There are stratas to the level. So it's very, very important as a believer, when we define light, we don't just define light from ordinary scope, but we define it from a realm that is supernatural, a realm that is beyond the realm of ordinary. I pray that God will open your understanding in the name of Jesus. I say that God will open your understanding in the name of Jesus. So it is imperative that we, we sustain knowledge and knowledge is what will help us, you know, and, and I'm not saying just ordinary or random knowledge, but specific knowledge, knowledge of the word of God for us to control victory in our journey as a believer. For a very long time, for example, uh, many financial analysts never believe there is a spiritual dimension to prosperity. Many never believe so. I mean, I'm, I'm not being insulted. Even people work in the bank. A lot of them are even poor. They work in the bank. So if it was from only a physical dimension, bankers would be the richest. But there are still poor people that work in the bank and that they are very, very poor. Who still struggle with their finance? So it tells me that there's a dimension beyond the physical to prosperity. Medical science, for example, also never believed there was a spiritual angle to sickness. But if time came when they diagnose patients and they give all the medications they could give, they use all the machines and administer treatment from various you know, levels and, you know, they know that ordinarily that this can cure the sicknesses, but they find out that despite everything they do, the sickness was not, you know, getting better. It wasn't curing. Things were not changing. It was then they realized that something existed which was beyond the scope of the natural existence. And they call it, um, I think, idiopathic medicine. Praise God. So something that is beyond equipment and natural intelligence. This is why in, in recent times you hear doctors say things like, oh, we are sorry, we can't do anything about this. That medical science cannot handle this. You know, you know we've had people who go to the hospital, they, they do a sort of test on them. They, 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 you know, they check and everything. They say, sorry, we, we, we can't do anything because that situation is, you know, is beyond the scope of, you know, medical science. I pray for somebody hearing me. If you can say it loud, amen. I decree and declare anything contending God's supremacy in your life, let that thing be disgraced and die. Let it be disgraced and die. Let it be disgraced and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have you not seen couple? They've been married for years, trusting God for, for, for the fruit of the womb. They've done every test possible within the scope of medical science. They say, husband, you are fine. Wife, you are fine. But for a very strange reason, they seem not to conceive. There is a realm that is beyond the realm of the natural. I pray for somebody here even again. Anything containing the place of God in your life, let that thing be disgraced and die. Let it be disgraced and die. In the mighty name of Jesus, anywhere darkness is hiding in your life, by the authority of the light of God, let it be illuminated now. Let your life be illuminated in the name of Jesus. Please, i like you to pray this prayer. I have a strong feeling in my spirit that something needs to happen. Please pray this prayer loud and clear. Say, hidden battles in my life, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every hidden battle in my life, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every hidden battle in my life, scatter, scatter. Scatter, 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 scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Battles hidden in my life. Scatter, 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 scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I have a feeling somebody needs to pray that prayer. Listen, battle can hide in people's life. You may not realize it may be 20 years gone. Then you suddenly, oh, I've been in this situation. Praise the Lord. You are going to pray that prayer again loud and clear. Say, hidden battles in my life. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every hidden battle in my life. In my ministry. In my finance. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every hidden battle in my journey. Scatter to desolation. Scatter to desolation. In the name of Jesus. Scatter, scatter. I command it to scatter. I command it to scatter. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, any spirit being on my way of progress, clear away now in the name of Jesus. Any spirit being antagonizing my progress, clear away now, clear away now, clear away now in the name of Jesus. Any spirit being antagonizing my progress, clear away, clear away, clear away, clear away in the name of Jesus. Clear away now, clear away now, clear away now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' 
mighty name we have prayed. You know, the scripture that says, Honor the covenant, for the habitation of the earth is full of cruelty. Is a possibility for people's lives to be stampeded, to be disturbed because of other entities. I, I know this may sound very, very vague for people that have lived in the Western world for a very long time, you are, who are now Western, but it's a possibility that a spirit entity can actually be responsible for the problem or the battles in people's life. Can you please open your mouth and pray that prayer again with understanding? Say, any spirit being standing on a lot of progress, clear away now in the name of Jesus. Clear away, clear away, clear away. I command you to clear away. Any spirit being standing on my way of progress in ministry, in career, in finance, clear away now. Clear away now. Clear away now in the name of Jesus. Any spirit being standing on my way of advancement, either in business or in ministry or in career, clear away now. Clear away now. Clear away now. Clear away now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say every problem that has become a mystery in my life by the blood of Jesus be terminated in the name of Jesus. Every problem that has become a mystery in my life be terminated, be terminated by the blood of Jesus. I command you be terminated, be terminated, be terminated. Any problem at all that has become a mystery in my life be terminated, be terminated, be terminated in the name of Jesus. Any problem that has become a mystery in my life be terminated by the blood of Jesus. Be terminated, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated in the name of Jesus. Any situation, any problem that has become a mystery in my life by the blood of Jesus. Be terminated, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. When we talk about battle becoming a mystery, this is when people go to the doctor or they go to the surgery, they do everything possible within the scope of medicine. There seems to be no solution. They, in fact, sometimes people like that are prayed and it seems like a mystery. Things are not changing. Listen, what you need is the light of God. Bible says, light shine upon darkness and darkness cannot comprehend. I told us in the first Sunday of this program, I said, any area of your life, based on scriptures in the book of Genesis, any area of your life where you are struggling with a particular result or the other is a, is a reflection of the fact that that area is still very, very dark. Hallelujah. And when there's still darkness in that area, there will be no result because evil thrives in darkness. Praise the Lord. But when light comes, it becomes difficult for light for, for darkness to comprehend. So Bible says, light shine upon darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Anyone that follows me will not walk in darkness. Can you please pray that prayer again? In the, I beg you, please pray it very, very. Say, every problem has become a mystery in my life. By the blood of Jesus, be terminated. In the name of Jesus, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated. Every situation that has become a mystery in my life. Every battle that has become a mystery in my life. Be terminated. In the name of Jesus, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated. In the name of Jesus, be terminated. By the blood of Jesus, be be terminated, be terminated, be terminated. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, every battle that has vowed to follow me from cradle to the grave, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every battle that has vowed to follow me from cradle to the grave, scatter, 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 scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Every battle that has vowed to follow me from cradle to the grave, scatter now, scatter now, scatter now in the name of Jesus. Every battle that has vowed to follow me from my cradle to the grave, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every battle that vowed to follow me from the cradle to the grave, scatter to desolation, scatter to desolation in Jesus mighty name we have prayed I pray for you in the name of Jesus every battle assigned to embarrass your life every battle that has become a mystery in your journey I decree and declare let it be terminated today let it be terminated let it be terminated in the name of Jesus every battle going with your age <laughs> every battle going as your age is advancing Every battle advancing as your age is advancing. I decree and declare as an apostle of God this afternoon, let that battle be terminated. Let it be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare, let that battle be terminated in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Many of the you know, men of old, among them are physicians. Praise God. 
among many of the men of old, we have, you know, physicians among them. Dr. Luke, we know about him in the Bible. Hallelujah. They were not ignorant men. They know certain infirmities and diseases can be caused by natural processes. The Bible considers any sickness at all as oppression, even though they know that it can be natural cause with disease or problem. But these men know, as far as the biblical standard is concerned, any disease whatsoever is an oppression of the devil. Because that is the definition from the highest realm. Whether directly or indirectly, the Bible calls any disease an oppression of the devil. Not because these men are ignorant. No. Not because they, they don't know you can have infection and your mother body can be affected. No. Not because they don't even know you can even overwork yourself and your body can shut down. People can actually overwork themselves and their natural body, you know, shut down. But as far as the biblical standard is concerned, any oppression whatsoever or any sickness whatsoever, I beg your pardon, is considered as an oppression of the devil. Because this is a, this is a, this is a definition from you know highest realm of reality. When you define a matter from this level, hallelujah, it can travel through every other level. When you have your definition of any situation from the highest realm, the supernatural realm, it can affect any other level. So far, you are dealing with any matter supernaturally, it will change its effect through other realms. Oh yes, it will change the effect of that matter through every other realm because this cosmos, this three-dimensional realm is a puppet, is very vulnerable to the spirit realm. So when dealing with any reality, it's important we deal with it from the highest sphere. Do you know that even your thoughts are from a realm higher than you? Even your action can be motivated by entities living in a dimension superior to yours. In fact, the subject of light that we are talking about this afternoon has its interaction and definition from a dimension beyond the natural. The life we're talking about, the life of God, is from a dimension beyond the natural. Anybody under the sound of my voice that has been manipulated by any dark power, by the light of God, let that thing be destroyed. Now, anything manipulating you, let it deliver, let, 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 let that thing be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus. Listen, people can be manipulated from a higher dimension. And so, when you define light as it were don't just take it from the perspective of the natural light hallelujah in john 1 9 this is a very powerful scripture the bible says that light that light was the light which gives light to every man that is jesus is the one that gives light to every man that comes into the world now Pay attention very well. It calls Jesus the true light. Notice it didn't say uh, a true light. No, it said the T H E. That's from English standard as a definite article. Hallelujah. There could be other form of light, but this particular one is a sure and the true one. It means there are other kind of light, but when the Bible uses the true light. Is talking about a light beyond the realm of the natural. There is a light in the natural realm. Don't get me wrong. All of us in our house, we've got bulb. Um, you know, we've got halogen lamps and all those kind of things that, that illuminate our house and all of that. That's the natural light. Praise God. Even that particular kind of light has its own characteristics and abilities. How do you see an objectical light? If light goes off, it's very, very impossible to see any object whatsoever so the agency that makes objects visible is called light not because your eyes is not there hallelujah not because your brain is not there not because that object is even taken from that looking but as far as there's no light in that area visibility is zero so when it comes to the issue of light once light is taken away from anything the brain the eyes is used as talking sites praise the lord the brain the eyes, they are both useless as touching sight. So the eyes is not just what makes you to see. What makes you to see is light. I hope somebody is not confused. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Because it is, ev listen, every object emits light. So when, there's, when light shines on any object, it emits it back. That's why your eyes decodes and sends information to your brain. And your brain then deciphers or, or, or interprets it or, or discerns that, okay, 
that's a car that's a that's a you know shoe that's a bicycle or whatever so light is the major thing that makes us to see is what propels visibility it will really really shock you that even in your own house come into your own house at night when it's so dark there's no form of light nothing your phone can be on the table and you will not see it oh yes it can you can really really struggle have you not been to your room even in your own house because there's no light and you struggle for a few seconds you lose orientation oh that the bed is there and you hit your leg oh my god my leg in your own house that you've lived for, for, for several years this is the importance of light Praise the Lord. So even the natural light and the visible light has its own advantage. But this afternoon, we are talking about a light, you know, greater than ordinary light. We are talking about a greater form of light, a supernatural light, a light from a higher dimension. I'm praying for somebody this afternoon. Every darkness in your life today, it shall turn to day. It shall turn to day. Anywhere there is darkness in your life today, it shall turn to day. In the name of Jesus. You know what Bible says? And he called, he called the day, he called it light. And the night, he called darkness. So every time you want results in your life, any time you want things to change in your life, what you should pray for is your night to be turned to day. Because it's not time that changes season in our life. It is light that changes season. A matter can remain so in somebody's life, 30, 40 years, and not change. Except like converses arise and shine, for the light has come, and the glory of God is risen upon you. Your life does not change because you are tired of that situation. What changes it is the introduction of light. Praise the Lord. The light we are talking about is the one from the realm of God. It will tell you, you know, what matter is originally, not what the cosmos define it to be. Let me tell you two things about light and the three major uses of light. Praise the Lord. And this is the, you know, these, these three major things are, are, are the things that constitute, you know, our cardinal essence. You see, without light, we are useless. And what do I mean? Because everything we know today, everything we have become, everything we've known to do is because of the light that has been transferred through us. It's because of, what has been, it's because of the information that has been transferred through us by the reason of light. And I'm going to show you that in scripture. Everything you have become today, everything you know today, everything you are doing now is because an information through light has come into your life. You did not just get to where you are now by chance, but something happened to you through the agency of light that brought you to your current situation. The question is, what is light? Let me say light is the essence of God. Light is the essence of God. In John 9, chapter 5, verse 5, the Bible says, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John 9, chapter 5 says, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. The Bible says, He is the true light that lighteth every man that comes into the world. This is why I said to us earlier, Without light, we have no meaning. Hallelujah. Somebody please pay attention. And God, I'm trying to make you understand. He says, as long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. That's Jesus talking there. And the Bible also says that is the true light that lighted every man that comes into the world. Now, if it's the true light, why seek light from somewhere else? Why do we define situations outside of this boundary? Praise the Lord. Why do we take things or why do we take our essence outside of this reality? Is somebody getting something? It will be very, very vain and vague when our standpoint over matter is outside of this truth of the scripture. It is very clear that without light, we are nothing. The reason why he lights us is because he is first of all himself the light. It means God can never be known or God can never manifest in any situation whatsoever. Ordinarily, the only way we can touch God, the only way we can interact with God is through the agency of light. Because the substance that, you know, passes God's reality to us is light. The only way we can interact with God is through light. 
The Bible says, in him there is no what? Shadow of turning. Is the father of the Bible says he dwells in light unapproachable. He dwells in light unapproachable. Without light, God cannot be known. The medium God has chosen through which his realities can be communicated to any human being is light. So each time you interact with God, it's because a, a, a transaction of light is going on. Every time we have an interaction with God, it's because there is a transaction via light that is going on. I haven't got time today, and I don't want to confuse people. And I've spoken a bit about quantum um, physics. It's a study of light, quantum physics. Those guys, they try to explain spiritual realities on the physical. That's what they do. Everybody that teaches quantum physics. Because God is light himself. Let me ask you a question. When you receive a text, if your phone is on your table and it's ordinary, you know, it's just there, maybe after a long time, you've not even received any call and the screen is blank. The moment a text, ordinary text, comes on your phone, what happens? A light shows on your screen. The same is applicable in the spirit realm. It does not matter how long the face of your phone has been dark and it has been hibernated. The moment a text comes in, light shows. That is the language of the spirit. The same thing is applicable. When your spirit man receives something, when life comes upon your spirit man, there's a change of state, just like your phone. If somebody getting something, praise God. Praise the living Jesus. I hope God is really helping us with this teaching. Hallelujah. So each time we interact with God, it's because there's a transaction of life going on. The transaction of life is the communication channel of God to another vessel. In Matthew 8, verse 12, the Bible says, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Praise God. Shall have the light of life. Shall have the light of life. So, the light of God cannot become a reality in your life until you have light. I say that again. The life of God, the Zoe, the Zoe, the life of God cannot be manifested in your life except through the agency of life. Meaning that the only way through which you can enjoy the life of God is through the agency of life. And the Bible says that the light is it that lighted the whole world. With this understanding, it will be foolish when you take your standpoint or your definition from the ordinary. I pray for you. In the name above every other name, anywhere you have been walking in darkness, let God illuminate your path. Let God illuminate your path. Let God illuminate your path. In the name of Jesus. Listen, people can be a believer and still walk in darkness. Oh, you love Jesus. You've been in church for 20 years. We don't talk age. We talk stage. We don't talk age. A-G-E. We talk stage. S-T-A-G-E. It's not a function of how long you've been in church. It's the level of light you carry. I pray for you once again. Any area you are walking in darkness, let God illuminate your path. Let God illuminate your path. In the name of Jesus. If God were to be life, it would be difficult to reach him. But the life of God can become the light of man. The life of God has become the light of man. So the light is the only means through which we can enjoy the Zoe, the life of God. The essence of God is communicated by the medium of light. Every time God reaches out to you, there is a transference of light. So when we say, let there be light, it means let there be life of God over any matter. I'm praying for you once again. Anything making darkness in your life, anything contributing darkness in your life, I pray, let there be a turnaround now by the light of God. Let there be a turnaround. Let there be a turnaround. Let there be illumination in the name of Jesus. I want you to really, really get this. I want you to understand it to be hoping. When we say let there be light, we are not just talking of every ordinary life. We are talking about the essence of God. That is the whole essence of God be introduced into this matter of my life. And I prophesy for anybody who can say it very loud in them. Anything at all that has not been working in your life, by the light of God, let there be a turnaround. In the name of Jesus. Okay, I speak like this. Over every matter causing you to cry, let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't care how long that thing has been there. If the room has been dark for 25 years, the moment the someone is switched, it becomes illuminated. I speak over every matter causing you to cry. I speak over every matter bringing you embarrassment and shame. Let there be light. Let there be light. 
Let there be light in the name of Jesus. Every matter causing to struggle and to sweat without result over that matter. Let there be light. Let there be light in the name of Jesus. The light of God is very powerful. Light is the essence of God. Is the essence of God. So, beloved, if God removes his light, <laughs> or if the light of God is absent in the life of any being, everything becomes meaningless. Why? There will be gross darkness and there will be nothing to interact with. It's because your, there is light on your TV. Hallelujah. You can interact with that light. Therefore, your eyes can see it and send signal to your brain and you can interpret. Try to close your eyes for 30 seconds, wherever you are. Close it very deep for 30 seconds. Right, so what do you see? Nothing. So if physically it's like that, how much more spiritually? There are many believers below. That's just like what we just demonstrated. Their life is like what we just demonstrated. They walk on in darkness. Psalm 82 verse 5 says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. You can be a believer and still walk in darkness. Trust me honestly. When you are ignorant over a matter, you are in dark over that matter. When you are very ignorant over a matter, you are in darkness over that matter. It does not mean it does not matter how long you've been born again. It does not matter if you are a pastor or you are a reverend or what. Listen, immortality has no respect for your title. Devil has no respect for your color. What he respects is the level of life you carry. What the devil bows to or respects is intensity of light in your life. I pray for you once again. God will illuminate your life. I say God will illuminate your life in the name of Jesus. So when we talk about light, we are talking about the essence of God. The essence of God. The life of God communicated to you is called light. For instance, God is your healing. But the only way you can walk in that experience or reality is through light. Light is called understanding. Allow me to show you the spiritual perspective of this word. Listen, every word we speak on the natural, hallelujah, every of those words, is just because that's the best way we can describe them. But you see, those words, they, they, you know, they have their spiritual, um, the, the tangibility of their realities. All these things, they are tangible things in the spirit realm. When we say truth, when we say wisdom, they are spiritual realities that, that sustain tangibility. That is, you can say, I am certain on this thing. As far as from that dimension, you can be very confident and bold about it. So when we say understanding, we mean your ability to apprehend light. When we say understanding, your capacity to lay hold of something, to be certain. Any man who has understanding has the ability to lay hold of light. It is with understanding that you can live your life. Listen, I've heard people say, Oh, I've been a born again for 30 years. I studied the Bible. I've read the Bible cover to cover more than 20 times. Congratulations. You see, the problem is when you don't have light, you end up being a theologian. You can know Bible and not know God. I was telling my friends who were praying some days back, some Sabbath, I said, Listen, if all the reason why we study Bible is for us to show up, we quote Bible when we have conversations, your study is in vain. You will truly know Bible and you become a theologian. You become a teacher of the law. You can quote the Bible from A to Z and there is no revelation, no light whatsoever. Spiritual things are very, very deep. Pastor Yaki Lome said something some years back. He said, he read this part of the Bible that says, um, that talks about him. I forgot that particular scripture. I forgot that scripture. He said, Okay, how Jesus Christ, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who went about doing good and, you know, healing everyone who is oppressed of the devil. He said he read that scripture several times that it became life to him, that the light of that scripture jumped at him. That was what battered the early ministry, early ministry you see in, 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 um, in Believer's Love World. That, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who went about doing good and healing everyone who oppressed of the devil. He said this thing, he read it so many times that it became life to him. And you saw the move of God in that ministry. In the ninth that was going up, early 2000, before the Evil Star program, there was miracle. There was healing. I've been one of the crusades before, a national stadium in my country. The man had not even arrived. They were only worshipping. People were already walking. 
light. Light. What controls your reality is the degree and the quality of light you carry. Listen, beloved, let's always learn to define our reality from the supernatural realm. It is careless and foolish and ignorant to define your essence only from the natural realm. Because there's a realm that supersedes super the natural realm. And when you don't have interaction with that realm, you are vulnerable. Praise the Lord. You are vulnerable. So any man who has understanding has the ability to lay hold on life. If you lack understanding, you cannot capture. Neither can you demonstrate the essence of God. Praise God. When you lack understanding, you cannot capture and you can't demonstrate the essence of God. It's not enough to say, oh, I'm born again. It's not enough to say, oh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a Christian or I'm a pastor. No. You need understanding to be able to demonstrate the whole essence of God. Many things we say about God, we make bold claims. Hallelujah. We, more, we make bold claims about Him. The truth is, many of us have not come into that experience. I want us to really, really get this. And the reason is because I'm going to stop praying and ministering in a few minutes. I want us to cry to God. I want us to cry for mercy. Don't wait until there is crisis before you start running around. When you sustain enough level of spiritual intelligence, when the situation comes, you know which one to discharge. It's like an armory. Hallelujah. Like an armory where they keep military weapons. When there's a problem, depending on the level of the problem, they know what one to roll out. They know what weapon to roll out. That is the way it should be for a believer. Don't wait until there is crisis. You are now running around, running to, from pastors to pastors, pray for me, pray for me. Yes, pastor can pray for you, but you need to sustain a requisite level of understanding and light that brings your deliverance. I pray that God will open your understanding in Jesus' name. I say, God will open your understanding in Jesus' name. When you don't have the light of God, you gradually die inside. Because this is a mission of God that makes you to have experience of reality. When you do not have the light of God in your life, you begin to die gradually on the inside. Honestly, because the dimension of God that brings you reality, you don't have it. Colossians 1.12 says, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of inheritance in saints in light. Giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, in light, in light. Not in English language, not in career, not in our, our status. Who has caused us to be partakers of his inheritance of the saints in life? Your inheritance can be there, but if you don't sustain the life needed to access it, it will remain there forever. Oh God, your word is set where? In heaven, not here on earth. For you to be transported here to the heart, you need a dimension of light. I pray for somebody once again. God will illuminate your life. God will illuminate your mind. God will illuminate your path. In the name of Jesus. Our time is fast spent. I want us to find time to pray. So that I don't take too much of your time. I'll continue this teaching at that time. But life is very, very key for the believer. Hallelujah. Life is very, very key. It's an imperative. It's an imperative. How much of life do you have? Life is where the essence of God is communicated. I told you earlier. How much of light do you carry? I know you know scripture. I know you are a man of wisdom. I know you are born again. Maybe you are even an usher in the church. You are a sanctuary keeper. You might even be the next man to your pastor, head of court of congregations. It's very, very good. It is very, very good. There's nothing wrong with those things. But the question is how much light do you have? It is the level of light that you carry that you walk in. I read um, Kenneth Higgins' book, First God of Blessed Memory. That book really helped my life. And that book made me to go and for the Christians over and over again. Listen, what you don't know, you can't be smarter than. In fact, you remain in a slave to anything that you don't know. Anywhere you are ignorant. You are vulnerable. Can I take it? Said he read the book of Ephesians, that in this particular portion, I think it's Ephesians 1, from verse 15 to, to 19, that powerful scripture. He said he read it more than a thousand times. Can you imagine that? He said, I read that place until a thousand times until something enacted in my spirit, man. <laughs> Little wonder the exploit this great man did. He said, I read that place about a thousand times. A thousand times. 
know you read the Bible to cover to cover, but what dimension of life has been revealed to you? It is more than reading scriptures. Many have read scriptures, they have become theologians. They know scriptures verbatim. They can they can quote anywhere, but there is no light. I will say, let your light so shine before men that they might see your good deed and praise your Father in heaven. Result in this kingdom is not by luck. No, the spirit realm is too adamant. Result in this kingdom is not by chance. It's not by guesswork. It is the quality of light that you carry that brings your result. The Lord will help us in this. And I have a feeling I should stop here so that we can take time to pray. I'll, I pray God will give us time. I'll continue this teaching another time. But I just, you know, have a feeling I should explain more about the spirit of light uh, um, to all so that we can really, really understand. In World and Life Mission and Ministry International, we, our vision is universal vibration through the power of the word. Listen, when you truly have revelation of the word, when the word becomes light unto you, when it becomes life, you don't struggle. You don't pray for too long. Praise the Lord. It will only increase your prayer life, not just your prayer point. Because certain things by the reason of light is set you already. Praise the Lord. Let's just begin to thank God this afternoon. Our time is fast spent. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord for His Word. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Oh, we give you praise. Appreciate Him for His Word. Thank Him for the illumination. Thank Him for the revelation of His Word. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Because the entrance of the Lord brings light and understanding to the sea. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be thy name, O God. We appreciate you. In Jesus mighty name we are giving thanks i like you to pray and say father give me your light in the name of jesus illuminate my life oh god illuminate my life give me understanding give me illumination even in the realm of my mind hallelujah do you know even your mind needs illumination <laughs> many of us are still victim of our foundation we are still victim of our background where we are brought up, our whole environment still plays a very great influence on our understanding. Until there is illumination in that realm, you, your life may not change. So I don't know, I, I just want you to lose yourself before God and cry and say, Father, please illuminate my life. Let there be light, O oh God, over this area, over that area in my life. Let there be light. Go ahead and begin to pray to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Marisa la boko sotundi baliva, rika pa kabala bo shindi, maruba zunde mi katika pa, reko ko sotundi ba kuyanda, le pa kaka la balaba shindi, riba kuzunda ba kuli mazinde mi kapa, reke te ke te ke te, riba kapa talabo shindi. Reboko sotonde bakulia le pakata palabo shente baraba rama kapata la bazende kitelia daba ripoko sotonde balikata mariba kuta hindi riba kasatanda la busha rika patala balabo shente oh god illuminate my life in the mighty name of Jesus, let there be light, O oh God. In my ministry, let there be light. In the name of Jesus, illuminate my life. Illuminate my life. In the name of Jesus, let there be illumination. Please cry to God and tell him to illuminate your life. Father, illuminate my life. Let there be light, O oh God. Let there be light, O oh God. In my ministry, let there be light. In my career, let there be light. In the name of Jesus, in my business, let there be light. I invite your essence, oh God, into my situation. Oh God, illuminate my life. Illuminate my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, illuminate my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be light, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I'd like you to pray and say, oh God, arise. Terminate every work of darkness in my life in the name of Jesus. Anywhere darkness is prevailing, oh God, by your light, let it be terminated. Go ahead and begin to pray to God. Oh God, I pray. Anywhere darkness is prevailing in my life, by your light, oh God, let it be terminated. Let it be terminated in the name of Jesus. Anywhere darkness is prevailing, anywhere darkness is striving in my life, in my ministry, oh God, by your light, let it be terminated. Let the darkness fade away. Let it fade away. Command it to fade away in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere darkness is striving in my life, by your light, oh God, 
Lord. Let it fade away. Let it fade away. Let it fade away. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Masupa koto libaya. Ripa kata balabo sete nevia. Riko poso tonde bakulia. Ripa kata la balaba shente. Anywhere darkness is prevailing in my life. By your light, oh God. Let it fade away. Let it fade away. Let it be terminated. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Let it be terminated. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any area of my life that darkness is striving. Any area of my life where there is darkness. By your light, oh God. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You know, fear is a function of what you know or what you don't know. I say this with every humility and to the glory of God. There were things that I feared five, six, seven, ten years ago. But now I look at them in the face. Aha, uh-huh. what do you want to do? Rather, they run from me to the glory of God. I'm, there were times in my life I was going to go to my father's house. I would be so scared. I would be so worried. So that they would not, you know, that African mindset. But Bible, oh, glory be to God. Bible says we have been made to sit down with Christ in heavenly places. Far above principalities and above powers. And every name that is named both in this world and the world to come. Uh-uh. If God says I've been made to sit with Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities, if I'm more than the principal, what is the student, the witches, they are students, they are nursery school, what are they to face me? They are nothing. If I'm above their principal, who are the students to face me? That's the word of God. Illumination, light, a revelation of that scripture transformed my life. Many Christians today, because of the essence of light, Things that should run from us will run from those things. And when they say somebody's going to kill you, or somebody, ah, how did you do that? You died. You start, to, you start to shiver. Ah, they said I died. I want you to pray to God. Oh God, give me your light. Illuminate my life, oh God. Anywhere darkness is, is raining in my life, anywhere darkness is driving by your light, let it be terminated. Turn it to prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray anywhere darkness is raining in my life, by your light, oh God, let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Pakota lava sote kiteria. Ripoko soto neba. Repakata balamosha. Rima kapata lebo zondoni abakaba. Maruda ba zunde kete bariana zakara. Rima koto baliba santa liakaba. Rekete balimba zunde kete. Marudi bakata bariana zikata. Anywhere there is dark in my life by your light oh god be terminated let it be terminated let it be terminated let it be terminated in jesus mighty name we have prayed say i crush every of darkness over my life in the name of jesus i crush every of darkness over my life in the name of the begin to pray i crush every yoke of darkness in my life in the name of jesus every yoke of darkness i crush you i crush you i crush you I crush you. I crush you. In the name of Jesus, every yoke of darkness in my life, by the name that is above every other name, I crush you now. I crush you now. I crush you now. I crush you now. Mention your own area of concern. Every yoke of darkness in my ministry, every yoke of darkness in my finances, every yoke of darkness over my children, every yoke of darkness in my marriage, I crush you now. I crush you now. I crush you now. In the name of Jesus, every yoke of darkness in my career, any of darkness over my health I crush you now I crush you now in Jesus mighty name we are prayed say every yoke of darkness assigned against my own my career my ministry break and scatter in the name of Jesus every yoke of darkness assigned against my life my own my ministry my career break and scatter break and scatter break and scatter break and scatter in the name of Jesus, every yoke of darkness assigned against my career, assigned against my ministry, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter. In the name of Jesus, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter. In the name of Jesus, break and scatter. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Our time is fast spent. Oh my God. We shall continue on that time. But pray this prayer very quickly before we go. I want you to please pray with prayer with every strength inside. The Bible says, "Light shine up." Um, he said, "Light shine upon darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend." Hallelujah! Light shines upon darkness, 
and darkness cannot come. In other words, if darkness is raining or prevailing in an area, at the instance of light, it fizzles out. It evaporates. Thank God for minister Jason. This was darkness at the sight of light, evaporated at the glimpse of light. At the moment that light is introduced into any dark situation, it evaporates. They're going to pray to God and shout like this. Say, confederation of darkness assigned against my life by the light of God. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Confederation of darkness assigned against my life by the light of God. Scatter, 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 scatter. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Confederation of darkness assigned against my life by the light of God. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter, scatter. Scatter to desolation. Scatter to desolation. Scatter to desolation. In the name of Jesus. Every confederation of darkness assigned against my life, my ministry, my career. Scatter to desolation. Scatter, scatter, scatter. Darkness assigned to ruin my life. I command you by the light of God. Scatter, 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 scatter. Bible said light shall upon darkness and darkness cannot comprehend. Upon this scripture, I decree and declare scatter, 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 scatter. Command them to scatter. Command them to scatter. Command them to scatter. In the name of Jesus, every good darkness assigned against my life to ruin my life and ministry. I command you to scatter by the light of God. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I pray for you in the name above every other name. Arising from now, let God illuminate your life. Let God illuminate your path. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy any altar of darkness launching battle into your life. Let that altar catch fire and be destroyed. Let it catch fire and be destroyed. Let it catch fire and be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, every evil altar, every dark altar, sustaining battle against your destiny, let that altar catch fire. Be destroyed, catch fire, be destroyed, catch fire, be destroyed, catch fire, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy every evil barrier, every barrier of darkness mounted against your destiny, every barrier of darkness assigned to limit you in life, every barrier of darkness assigned to stampede you. I put them down in the name of Jesus. I put them down, I put them down in the name of Jesus. I pray for you if your amen can be loud. As an apostle of the living God, every evil thing has been mounted against your destiny, as signs to you to a non entity. You know, sometimes battle can be so difficult that it makes even a believer to become a non entity. The Bible says oppression makes a wise man mad. I pray for somebody hearing me. If your amen can be loud, every evil that has been mounted up to forsake your destiny in the name of God, let them be pulled down now. We pull them down now. We pull them down now in the name of Jesus. Every eye that of darkness in your life, I prophesy. By the light of God, let it be exposed. Let it be exposed. Let it be exposed. In the name of Jesus, every eye that for darkness in your life, by the light of God, let it be exposed and fizzle out. Let it be exposed and fizzle out. In the name of Jesus, from now on, I decree and declare, you will never walk in darkness. Oh, you will never walk in darkness. You will never walk in darkness. In the name of Jesus, your path shall be illuminated continually. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Thank you once again, everybody, for connecting to this platform today. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are joining us today for the very first time, we welcome you powerfully into World of Life Mission and Ministries International. Hallelujah. Our vision is universal liberation through the power of the word. In this place, the, the word works wonders. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you, man. God bless you, man. Thank you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So we welcome you once again in Jesus' name and we look forward to seeing you again in our programs again and again and again until you become a part of the family. And please, for those who have been coming for a while, please do go to invite other people that can, can be a partaker of what God is doing in this commission. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you in the name of Jesus. 